Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum semua. Hi everybody. Okay, so we're going to start our class today for every BSR 514. Okay, as you can see here, my screen, this is the first screen that we're going to see uh, when we open our Revit uh, software. I'm using Revit uh, 2020. Okay, the first step that you have to do when you start your, when, when you're going to start a new project, okay, pertama sekali adalah um, tekan new. Okay, then there's going to be a pop-up box. So, I'm going to press browse. Okay, mine here, they dah automatically they from Malaysia. Okay, so I'm going to choose default metric. Double click. Okay, then the pop-up box here, they akan keluar two items. Project dengan project template. Choose project. Then, okay. Okay, then dia akan keluar macam ni. Ini setting dulu benda ni. Ini aku ajak browse ke, ajak keluar sikit. Aku nak masuk dulu. Okay, usually your project browser, uh, dia akan macam ni, dia akan display macam ni. So, untuk uh, for beginners, kita setting our properties dekat sini. Dan our project browser dekat sini. Okay, park dia elok. So, your screen is here. So, it's easy for you to work around. Okay, remember? Project browser, uh, sorry, properties on your left. Meanwhile, your project browser is on your right. Okay, so before that, save your project. Okay, buka, uh, got your file, save. Okay, save it in your laptop, in your PC. I'm going to save it in drive D. In my Revit tutorials, okay, I'm going to name my project. Getting started. Then I'm gonna save. Okay, jadi uh, kita akan teruskan kepada tutorial kita. Um, semua all the things that I'm gonna do, you can get the notes from New Future, and it's just the same the one that I gave you before in class, the PDF notes lah. Eh? Jadi you can wujud there. Okay, kita akan buat step by step. Okay, first of all, sekarang ni go to your uh, project browser. Then, kita akan pergi ke elevation. Okay, apa-apa, before you want to start a new project, kita kena setting dekat elevation dahulu. Okay, so here in your elevation, dekat project browser, go to your south. You can go to anywhere. Tapi, I prefer if because uh, we're following the tutorial, so we go to the south. Okay, then when you go to the south, kita akan bayar di sini. Okay, we're going to go here. Dan kalau kita ikut arahan dekat sini, dia akan... Dia ada beri arahan satu demi satu. So, dia cakap. Okay. So, you just follow. Okay. Follow the step by step that I'm doing. Okay. So, I'm going to click level one. Zero. Kita akan rename. Would you like to rename? Yes. Then automatically dia akan rename. Dia akan rename dekat sini dan dia akan rename dekat sini. Okay. Then rename the other one. Level 2. Okay, besides that, rename sini boleh, rename sini boleh, and if you want to rename it here pun boleh. Okay, so rename, saya buat dia satu contoh dekat sini, level 2, rename it to 01, lower, level, enter. Yes, again. Okay, see, yang kita dah ada, 2 levels. Okay, dan arahan seterusnya. Now, we're going to go to architecture tab. Okay, architecture. Kita akan pergi ke datum. Yeah, dan kita akan ambil level. Okay, 
Kita draw. Kita akan ambil pick line. Pick line. Then in the option bar. Ini adalah option bar. This is our option bar. If you can see your option bar here, kemungkinan besar maybe it's down here. Dekat bawah. Kalau tak ada dekat atas, most probably dekat bawah. Okay. So, dekat option bar, dekat offset, awak letak 3,000. 3,000. Okay. Kita letak 3,000 in the drawing area, dekat 0,1 lower level. Okay. Automatically, when you put your cursor dekat line, you will be seeing above tu akan ada line biru. Eh, kalau you letak bawah, dia akan pergi ke bawah. You see the blue line? Okay. So, when you adjust sikit letak dekat atas, dia akan dekat atas. So, we want it to be above above the blue line to be above the garisan biru tu eh. So, bila dah nampak garisan biru tu display, then you click. So, automatically, dia akan tekan dekat atas. Okay. So, using the same method, you create garisan dekat atas pula. Create level dekat bahagian atas. So, you just create another level. Okay. So, create level 4. So, level 3. Okay. Level 3 then create. So, we have now how many level? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, done. Then, Nak keluar from this command. Sekarang ni kita masih berada dalam command. If you want to go out from this command. Like, as I told you in class before. So you tekan modify. Ataupun you escape dua kali. You escape button twice. Okay. So modify. Ataupun escape. Untuk keluar daripada the current command. Okay. Then selesai di situ. Moving on. Sekarang ni kita akan cuba nak rename all our levels here. So, rename the new levels and all corresponding views. Now, I'm reading the manual. So, level 3, rename as 0 to entry level. Okay. So, level 3, you click on the garisan. Level 3, click. Rename it into 0 to entry level. Okay. Remember to press yes. Then level 4. Okay. Ada masalah macam ni. Then suddenly tertekan terlari ke apa. Ctrl Z untuk undo. So do it again. Okay. Level 4. Rename as 03. Roof. Yes again. Okay, then double click on the dimensions and enter new values. Okay, so it says zero change to negative. Okay. Okay, on the line zero change to negative five two five zero. Negative five two five zero. Enter. So it's gonna be way down there. Then 4,000. Okay, double Z. Sorry, control Z. 4,000, change to negative. 3050. 7,000, change to 0 and N. Then 10,000 change to 3050. Then modify. Stop the command or double. Dekat tengah. Then we're done. For the first part, which is creating a project and these levels. Okay, see you guys on the next video.